As for the Republican take, we're pleased to be joined by United States Senator Roy Blunt. Not only a Republican, but also in the Romney camp from the early going, even before he was officially the nominee. Your initial take on what you saw tonight in the debate? Well, I feel good about the debate. I think that you know a lot of people got to look at Romney, Governor Romney, that they haven't had before. A lot of people are paying attention now that haven't been paying attention before now. And when you're on the stage with the President of the United States, suddenly. Uh, how you do in that environment makes a difference, and I thought Governor Romney did well. Even David, David Axelrod saying the style points, which mean clearly the, the governor conducted himself well, presented his facts well, and, and frankly, I thought we saw a big contrast there. And I think the governor did not allow himself to be pushed back on the idea that, well, you want to cut tax rates for everybody. How can you do that and not cut revenue? The way you do that and not cut revenue is you look at the the uh, deductions that are available to people and you try to make up for a lower tax rate uh, by making those deductions work in a different way and getting people to work was something Governor Romney emphasized over and over again. Jerry, I was kind of surprised frankly to see uh, President Obama embrace the whole concept, the term Obamacare. Mm -hmm. Obviously he thinks it's more popular in 2012 than it was in 2010. Yeah, he said that previously, but really went out tonight mm -hmm. and said that mm -hmm. he embraces that. Mm -hmm. uh, being in the Senate and dealing with these things, uh, you heard Mitt Romney say, uh, no tax cut in place that adds to the deficit. That right. almost seems right. counterintuitive. How do you have any tax cut that does not add to the deficit because it's less revenue? Well, I think, I think you know, the president himself said, uh, over two years ago, I think it was three years ago at the State of the Union, I want a revenue neutral reduction in corporate taxes. So how was he going to... The difference is he had three years to get it done and didn't get it done. The way you get it done is you reduce the rate and then you take enough things out of the code uh, that make up for the difference, but everybody is paying the same rate, whether it's the smallest corporation in Springfield or the biggest corporation in America. And on the individual rate, if you reduce that rate by the percentage he's talking about, the 10% rate that Everybody pays that pays anything pays 8%. Right. Uh, the 15% rate becomes about 12%. And you do that by figuring out how to make the deductions. Uh, that, frankly, the more money you make, the more you benefit from the deductions. How you make those deductions go away in a way that makes that revenue neutral. But you do it in a way that gets people to work, which the governor said creates more taxpayers, which ultimately creates more revenue, not less revenue. We could talk for hours. Uh, dissecting what went on for an hour and a half tonight. We appreciate mm -hmm. you joining us live it's for good this. Good to be home. Good to be home, I'm sure. Uh, from Washington, a lot going on there, and we look yeah. forward to talking to you in the weeks and months to come as uh, the election approaches. Senator Roy Blunt with us live tonight. Thank you so much for joining us.